Fabulous friends, Sabrina here. Uh, you can actually see my dog. Chubbs! Hey, Chubbs! I don't know if you guys have met my dog yet. Chubbs, look at the handsome baby. Say hello. Say hello, Chubbs. All right, I am here in uh, Pennsylvania at the moment. Uh, got down here about a week or so ago drinking one of my green smoothies. I am here today because I am a tad bit frustrated. Please excuse my hair. It's kind of doing its own thing here. I went to go see my parents in North Carolina for a few days and then I got here in Pittsburgh and I'm setting up shop um, with my full-time job here. Anyways, so uh, since I've been here, which has been about a week, I have actually been running a track out at the high school not too far from where I'm staying at at the moment. And uh, I guess my complaint is, and I see this everywhere I go, but I'm a little, <laughs> I was a little frustrated today. Um, I see these people that show up to work out, and uh, they p seem to put in as little amount of effort as possible while they're there, and I'm just completely dumbfounded. Um, as to why they even bother showing up. Um, when I when I go to work out, I try my best to put in a hundred and fifty percent every single time I show up. When I'm leaving um, the track for now, um, I'm literally drenching wet. Like I have sweat all over. Um, when you are exercising, it's very important to make sure that you're using as many muscles as possible, no matter what you're doing. Uh, for instance, on the track, if you are, even if you're walking, there should be some sort of movement in your arms. Move your arms, suck in your stomach. I see these people that are walking and they're just like, just like, hanging out barely even moving like barely even moving their legs I just I don't understand it if you're trying to better your life if you're trying to better who you are and and your physical appearance in some way I mean I'm guessing that's why you're there you need to put in some sort of effort and I think a lot of people have an issue with possibly the way they look when they do this I mean a lot of times I will be driving down the road and you'll see people like moving their arms up and down in weird ways. Um, I've even seen people running, you know, touching their knees while they run. Who gives a crap um, as far as what people might be thinking or what people might be saying as they're driving by or walking by? Uh, you're trying to better yourself. You're trying to better your future. You're trying to better your family's future, whatever it is. Um, the amount of time that you actually put into working out, I mean, we have so many things going on. We've got kids, we've got husbands, wives, uh, full-time jobs, grandparents to take care of, car problems, money problems. There's so many other things that are going on on a daily basis. When you actually take the time out of your day to go and work out, go and exercise, go and better yourself, Put in enough effort where it's actually going to make some sort of a difference or else what's the point, honestly? Just to kind of give you guys some sort of an idea here as to what I'm talking about. Um, when I go to the track, I don't just run around a circle. Um, I run backwards um, for about at least two laps, uh, sometimes three. I'll do maybe two forward, one back, two forward, one back, two forward, one back. Um, the entire way around, I will run backwards. Um, I run where I pull my knees up to my chest as high as I can. Um, I run with my arms, you know, going up and straight up, straight down. I actually have weights that I put, like one and a half, I think, pound weights that I have um, on my hands that I move. Um... I uh, run on my tippy toes, I run flat foot, I run 
uh, up the bleachers, up and down the bleachers. I'll do 50 to 100 sets up and down the bleachers on the side. The uh, wheelchair ramp for the handicapped individuals that's literally like a straight up and down incline for I don't know how long it is maybe 30 40 feet I mean it's not very long but I run up and down and up and down and up and down over and over again um, there's so many <laughs> different ways uh, e even on something as, as silly as a high school track that you can do to uh, make sure that you're putting in a hundred percent effort. You need to use your imaginations. You need to uh, uh, push yourself that much harder, that much further. Um, you know, when I see somebody that's running in front of me even, or walking in front of me, I'll tell myself, you know, catch up to that person. I'll make it a, a physical thought in my head to catch up to that person. Um, there's actually a guy that, uh, happens to be at the track almost every single time I'm there his miles are literally he I don't know what his mile is one of these days I'm going to stop him and ask him but I swear it's got to be like a five minute mile and he just keeps running and running and running and running I don't understand how he keeps up so much endurance like just continuous endurance just the same speed forever I don't know how he does it but he'll pass me and I'll make it, I'll put in so much effort trying my hardest to keep up for as long as I can. I haven't been able to keep up yet, but that's just another thing that I do, another way to keep myself motivated, to challenge myself, to push myself harder each and every time. If you're at a gym, run next to somebody. I never, when I run at a gym, I never run by myself on a treadmill. I always make sure that I place myself next to somebody who's physically fit and who looks like when they go to the gym, they are going to put in 150% because I know that I don't want to look like a complete idiot walking, barely being able to, barely putting in any effort when this guy over here is blowing me away. So I'll, I'll run and I'll tell myself, I'm like, I'm racing this guy. This guy is my competition and we are in a race. And that's how I keep myself going. Don't, don't isolate yourself to the back so you can get away with being a lazy bum. Don't do that to yourself. Put yourself smack dab in the front where everybody can see you. Put yourself right next to the guy who's there every single day running his butt off. Stand next to that guy. Or, I mean, run next to that guy. That's the person or that girl. That's the person that you need to be, um, that you need to be following. They say that if you see somebody who has exactly what you want, so if you see somebody at the gym that has a beautiful body, that when you look at them, you're like, holy crap, I would love to look like that. That person. All you have to do is do what they do, and you'll get exactly what they have. That's what they say. And I say that all the time to everybody that I talk to. Do exactly as I do, and you will get results extremely similar to what I have. 100% every single time. That's what you need to think about. I need you right now to make a commitment to yourself for when you actually take the time, whether it's 15 minutes or a half an hour or an entire hour or whatever it is that you're putting together on a daily routine, to tell yourself, to mentally tell yourself that you are going to work as hard as you can while you are there. That's it. That's the only time that you have for the rest of the day. You can slouch around like a slug. I could care less. But while you're actually there trying to better yourself, while you're taking the time away from your kids or away from your husband, do 100%. Give it your all. You need to go at it as if this is the race to win all races. Just 100%. And if you do that every single time you work out, you will see results. If you show up at a track or at a spin class or at a yoga class and you're barely moving, if you're barely trying, if you're barely working up a sweat, then you are, there's no results. You're not going to have results. I don't care what anybody says about walking 
or moving around or I don't care how many steps your little computer is telling you that you've taken. If you're not sucking in your abs, if you're not pulling your muscles in tight, if you're not physically moving your arms and your upper body and putting in your entire body mentally and physically, then you're not going to have the results that you're looking for. You're just not. And the faster you see results, the more excited you're going to be about working out. And the more excited about working out you are, the more you're going to go. And the more you go, the more results you're going to have. And that's all there is to it. And you need to tell yourself that. When you go, go. Go at it 100%. And you'll see results. And results will make you happy. And results will make your children happy and your spouse happy. The example that you start showing the people around you, your family and your friends, it'll motivate them. And the better you feel about yourself, the better you'll eat because you won't want to ruin that workout you had. So you need to make a commitment to yourself right now. Tomorrow, when you go to the gym or when you go to a track or when you're running around your neighborhood, before you step foot on that first machine or on that first um, set of weights or the first step out of your door before you hit the pavement running, you need to say 100% today, right now, 100%. And then do whatever you want to do for the rest of the day. And then the very next day when you do it again, when you step foot on that machine, when you step foot out your house, 100%. It's only a short amount of time. You're giving yourself a short amount of time. Get the most results, the biggest amount of results you can possibly get out of that amount of time that you're giving yourself. And it'll feel that much better. You'll be that much more excited each and every time you go. If you're going day after day after day after day and you're seeing no results, that's depressing. I mean, no wonder you quit. No wonder you give up. No wonder you decide to stop by a Dunkin' Donuts. There was no work. There was no effort that you put into any of that. You got to do it for you. That's what you have to do. Tomorrow, do it for you. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and then do it again, and again, and again, and again, over and over and over again, and I promise you, you'll see results. All of these um, videos and workout tapes that you see, where they say, give me 60 days, or give me 90 days, you don't need to be spending money on all of these crazy workout videos, or routines. If you do any amount of exercise, and put in 150% effort, for 60 days or 90 days in a row, I don't care what you're doing, you will see results. I guarantee it. If you wake up every single day or every single day after work and you run or you work as hard as you can, if you can't run, you walk and you move for a mile, two miles every single day for 60 days or 90 days, clean up your eating habits, you'll see results. You don't need any glorified video or recipe books or anything crazy. You know what you are supposed to be eating and what you're not supposed to be eating. You don't need anybody to tell you that. You know that you're supposed to be working out. Eat what you're supposed to be eating and work out. When you work out, work out. Make yourself proud. When you leave that gym or when you step foot back into your house, Feel that energy. Be excited about who you're becoming and what you want to be. Have a goal every single day and you will get results. But you have to work. You have to work. You have to sweat. If you're not sweating, you're doing it wrong. If you're not out of breath, you're doing it wrong. If you can breathe, if you can talk while you're working out, you're doing it wrong. I guarantee you. So tomorrow... Let's do this. Adios. Solidão é lava Que cobre tudo Amargura em minha boca Sorri seus dentes de chumbo Solidão, palavra